I want to serve. For decorating your kunja. Madan Sultada. This is the name. Yes, it's the name, but uh, here it's mentioned Madan Anandada Kunj. It's another name for the Anand for the Anandada Kunj. That is also Madan Sopada is Kunja and Madan Ananda Kunja. When they meet, uh, feeling and uh, rasa meet. Feeling, Mahabhava, when the bhava becomes highest feeling and rasa enter in that punja and he want to release Mahabhava, highest feeling also, to see that Meeting of divine, highest feeling and uh, rasa means juicy, want to increase more feelings. This makes me, as a manjari, like a viewer. When we view this, it gives ananda, ecstasy of ananda. We receive to see that. So, this kunja is Madan, Madan Krishna Ananda Kunja. This is the name Madan Ananda. Ananda da kunj, yes. Ananda da. Ananda da. Da means giver kunja. Madan Ananda da kunja who gives to happiness even to the Madan who attracts all universe with his beauty and from his energy. But he today receiving Ananda, somebody will give him Ananda. This is the beauty of this Kunja. Madanakya Mahabhav means Mahabhav is so high that today Madan is also become useless. He don't know what to do and not to do in Madan uh, What I say? Madanakya Mahabhav. Uh, Madanakya Mahabhav. Madanakya Mahabhav. Mahabhav is so giving today, so much giving today, that Madan start dancing and he forget himself that he is the attraction of he attract the whole universe and may all become mad with his one finger. All they are dancing. Today he is dancing of this feeling Madanakya Mahabhav. Uh, Mahabhav is so high in giving so everything is giving that he he lose his consciousness. He lose himself. So this is the day today of not Ananda Dark. Yeah. Is this the reason, Gurudev? Why Swamini he is here also addressed as Devi, goddess, because she yeah. is 
ये बात सही है दिस इज द राइट वे दैट आई कैन सी माय स्वामी एंड हिज हैंड इज ऑन माय ब्लेसिंग टू इट इज ब्यूटीफुल दिस इज द मार्क्स Oh, Devi. Oh, Devi. Oh, my dear. When will I make a bet of Yasmin flowers for you? in the cottage in madan ananda da kunj uh -huh. the grove which gives joy to cupid which has beautiful gates and erotic vermilion pictures hanging in it hung with garlands made of various flowers surrounded by humming bees in the garden there are many flowers then it become garden all the manjaris all the associates they become like a flower to gather to serve today to serve they are like a god they all become oh in one thread themselves that all will serve to me to swami to give them real happiness for his mother mohan that who is attracting attract to the whole in world with his cupid nature they all become crazy that cupid is going to take all his special ananda and loving so so the ananda dark the ananda dark from not all they are true and the humming bee is around them. they are humming so all the vibration humming bee is all the bees are coming for every one flower but when they enter there they all become many many form krishna took in the form of coming bee all they collect they cannot do anything they become Wow. 
Yes. Go on. When the vision of the previous verse disappears, Sri Raghunath's heart cries out in deep anguish. His heart is completely swallowed by loyalty to Sri Radha. In external consciousness, he also prays for Radha's service. Because he come to Sadak Deha, and in Sadak Deha, he is praying again back to go in Siddha Deha. External consciousness means I come in my body consciousness. But he is praying again back to go in the service because Radha's service is not possible to do in external things. Why Radha Krishna's bhajan is higher? Because this is not possible to serve them in external things. Their bhajan is so deep that we have to become one place is writing Anandas Babaji to, to understand God, we have to become God. Means what to become external consciousness will not work. To understand my Swami, we have to come to in the consciousness of my soul and sarup. From there, I can understand this part. That. Sorry, I'm preparing myself to enter in this. I know suggest to all of you, you are already realized, but myself is very low, so I try to bring myself in the service of my Priya Yeah. Yeah. Can we say that this is the special gift of Mahaprabhu? Yes. Mercy of Chaitanya. He is not working with Sadak Deha. We can do up to Ram Bhakti, Mariada, Purdotam. But Radha Krishna Bhakti, the pure service of Radha Rani, we start with myself. And her mercy. Today or tomorrow, when she bless, she only give the shadow to her dasis, kinkiris. And this blessing changed the life of the Eva. To make us normal. Prabhupada also mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, in last paragraph, without pleasure giving pleasure giving potency, we cannot be a dharma.
our nature is to become independent ping pong and condition because of my senses it cannot possible to change this without mercy of without mercy of radhika she make us normal in her by gifting us our sarup to us this is the mahaprabhu's special gift in our life and when mahaprabhu left he was giving the order to the six kus six kusmamis to distribute his present to all the people right chetan chetamrita se rupa ragnat pade rahu mor aas then i can understand Set and set up every place because Rupa Goswami is blessed by Mahaprabhu for Sarup Gyan Abhideha Sanatan Goswami is blessed for Sambandha Gyan. First is the sambandha. So Sanatan Goswami first he came, and he realized himself that how to develop sambandha with Krishna. And Rupa Goswami. Now to realize how to serve Radhika, and Raghunatha Goswami, by blessing of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, with Govardhan Sila and Gujjamal, he blessed to stay near to Govardhan. And serve to Gunjamal, who wear the Gunjamal, serve to that. So Prayojan, he got the Prayojan of the life. So he was living in Radha Kund. Fix after fixing himself. So Sanatan Goswami is traveling. Helping to the sambandha gyan, and Sarup Gos Rupa Goswami also traveling and giving avidya gyan. This is really wonderful. And what you said is written here in the next line. Shila Raghunath is not satisfied with smarana or visions. He wants her directly. Voice is not clear. I don't know. And said little muffled, muffled. Yeah. This is what is said here. And now is very clear. He is not satisfied with smarana or visions. He wants her directly. Directly, yeah. One is a vision. So eyes is important for vision. It's spiritual eyes. 
but material eyes will show us to bring us to spiritual life. But this is Brahmana. You know, it's a Brahmana, not Sudra. So this eyes has to change to first to see that. But he is not interested now, only to see. He wants direct service. <laughs> this is the great he has. This is Rati Manjari. That is the meaning of Rati. Greed is growing higher and higher. Too lusty. Direct service. Go <laughs> back down. His spiritual lust. Not through the mind, not through eyes, not in dreaming. I need direct service. Even in his external consciousness, he feels a deep want of Swamini. And so Even he prays. This is stage bring you externally also. <laughs> because this Brahmana is looking, this eyes is looking. External consciousness, but more decide to do direct all of his service. Mind is thinking always, but mind is not satisfying because I'm not doing direct service. Dream is coming to me. Because my mind becomes fixed. But now I am not satisfied only by dreaming. I need direct service. I want to do something. This is the beauty of real mindedness. Can you bless us that we come to that state, please? <laughs> All blessings, please. Radha Rani is always blessing. He is always giving. Who is to direct service? They are becoming more and more badness coming in. Sahaj. Sahaj, the Sahaj I say you. Same person, how it's all behavior change. You cannot understand this person, surprise. Because what I am thinking is coming in my dream. 
and before I am thinking so many things in my mind. So these are coming in my dream. Now she start coming in my dream. Means my mind is fixed for her. So she start coming in. Prati Mandiri Sam not satisfied with that. She is coming in the vision all the time. She says, I am not satisfied with that. I want service all the time. Huh? Yes. This is Mandava. Even in his external consciousness, he feels a deep want for Swamini. Wow. And so he prays and laments as follows. I desire to see the two youthful jewels of Braj, the tips of whose beautiful nails are washed by waves of sweetness of millions of matchless young golden girls and young cupids. and who are always delighted by their constant feelings of mutual love. Good, if to this sentence I had one picture. I want to ask you if this is right. All these humming bees and all the flowers. Is it because all the manjaris who are there, they see the flower, they can feel the flower, and they can also feel the humming bee, and they are right in it? Is this meant with this? Because he has written that they are always delighted by their constant feelings of mutual love. <laughs> Uh, there are many who like direct Manjari Sakis. They are in the garnet form. They want to see Krishna for themselves. So Krishna becomes like a humming bee for the individual flower in the garden. So it's for the Sakis. Sakis. Okay. Because Manjiris are not interested. They want to the service of Radhika. That's why these garments are outside. Garments in the form of Saki. Understand. And these garlands are outside. They are not in the kunj, they are outside on the door. Yes. So humming bees are coming to make the vibe that all vibe will become changed there in, inside the The Maharaj the circumstances in the center, in the Kunja, Radha Krishna is there, but the Sakhi is all one Krishna is there in the form of Krishna. So all can be happy. At the same time, Krishna wants to be happy inside. Mm. That's a perfect description. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, out in is so full of Krishna, 
from where he wants to do, but he feel more happiness when he is uh, himself in Ananda Sukhda Kutya <laughs> because someone is waiting to give all happiness to the to him. It's all but it is. So how do you imagine is a Maharasa vibration? But there's one sweet point more, it will come. Not that the Rani is waiting for him, no, no, this time it's the other way around. Yes, that is the point. <laughs> <laughs> He's searching, searching, he enters there. <laughs> I desire to see the two youthful jewels of Braj, the tips of whose beautiful nails are washed by waves of sweetness of millions of matchless young golden girls and young cupids, and who are always delighted by their constant feelings of mutual love. I desire to see the two youthful jewels of Braj, whose moon-like faces that are endowed with lotus-like eyes that are dizzy of erotic ras and cast slightly roving sidelong glances have slightly lowered out of shyness and humility and whose desires for hearing each other's sweet words constantly increase. Yeah. Oh. This line has to be memorized. <laughs> Sri Raghunath's heart floats on the waves of prayer into the kingdom of Leelas. This is such a wonderful description. Sri Raghunath's heart floats on the waves of prayer into the kingdom of Leelas. Wow. On the indication of the Vichakshana parrot, Tulasi takes eager Srimati along to meet Krishna in the modern Sukata Kunj on the bank of Sri Radhakund. Swamini forgets everything when she remembers Shyam Sundara's happiness. The Mahajans sing. Ah, just see, rise Abhisa, her feet that are more tender than Shirisha flowers irrestably go astray. She is accompanied by her sakis of similar age, dress and ornamentation. 
her graceful steps put to shame an elephant's guide and her roaming glances defeat a hummingbird's play. Although these very tender lotus feet turn pale in the excitement, she continues to traverse over the earth's rough surface unmoved in her determination and free from fear. In this way, Nagaramani Rai reaches the Dreisting Kunj. Radha Mohan's eyes rejoice when they see her like this and he blunks within an ocean of bliss. The kunja is beautified with different flowers, each one attracting buzzing bumblebees. The kunja is filled with the humming of these bees the vermilion of the erotic pictures that the manjaris have drawn has the red color of passion and helps to incite lusty feelings. This kunja that gives joy to Cupid is situated on the northeastern side of Radakund. And it is managed by Vishakasaki. On all four sides are Chapakut. Why is not clear to me, please? Koravani, kannst du mal probieren, ohne das Mikrofon, ohne das Headset zu sprechen? Ich habe leider nur dieses Mikro für diesen Computer hier. Probier mal ohne Headset. You hear me so, like this better? Yeah. It's better? Yeah. Ich habe an dem Computer leider keine andere Möglichkeit, Gopinat. Ich habe hier kein anderes Mikro. Wirst du mal näher zu deinem Mund? Ist Mikro vorne? Abstand, ist in Abstand? Rade, rade. It's better like that. Yeah, better. Good. We got all um, you, uh, breathing air, everything voice come and it's not very clear. But. Okay. Now it's become good. This concha uh -huh. that gives joy to Cupid is situated on the northeastern side of Radakon and it yeah, is managed better. it is managed by Vishakasaki. On all four sides are Champaka trees permeate the kunch with the fragrance of their red, green, yellow and blue flowers. Red, green, yellow and blue. <laughs> mm. 
is a very deep meaning, my dear. Red make you, but after that, Baba, see the uh, uh, looking. Baba is looking and writing. What is the uh, first is red, right? Mm. Yes, first is red. <laughs> Why? Passion is growing, and rag is growing. Then what I see? What? Read. Then it's coming green. Yes. <laughs> then I see together. Manjiri see together to what? Blue. Yellow and blue. You don't blue and yellow. Yellow and blue. Ujjwal <laughs> thing. Ujjwal thing. That is true. Taki see blue and yellow, but Manjali see yellow and green. This is the difference. And then and which color? After green, red, green, yellow, and blue. blue. Yellow <laughs> and then blue. First yellow, green then and blue. Blue color. <laughs> yellow and blue. <laughs> this is Manjari's eyes. <laughs> Without passion, a spiritual green, rati not grow. We cannot see. We see the miracles word of Baba. Nobody can write without looking the reality. In she, he is writing in a Siddha Sarup. They are also blue, yellow, and green parrots. Cuckoos. Yellow and green parrot. Blue, yellow, parrots and green. Parrots are two. Yellow and green. <laughs> Manjari is green. Only the vision see both together. Sakhi see only blue. Some yellow with Sakhi. And is want to live in the green in Ananda and looking to be alone. Wow. This is Siddha Purush. This is Rasigas. Only by color you can explain to one day what is happening there. Yeah. When Kumbhas and Raza combines, yeah, it's true. Yes. Bhav and Rasa combine, and then it's true. Wow. But without bhava, rasa will not 
willing to come, huh? Bhav has to be there. Bhav, if the feeling is not there, why Rasa will come in dry place? <laughs> Rasa can come. They are also blue, yellow, and green parrots, cuckoos, and bumblebees are singing their sweet song there. Wow. Uh, my God. Blue parrots are also there who meditate in blue. They are also joined to sing. <laughs> Sakit also. <laughs> Manjari. Huh? All the singing stuff. Together. The Kunja has four gates. four gates on on each side made of stakes with various wonderful flowers strung on them. The central yard in this Kunj is studded with jewels and shines like a 16 petaled lotus flower. <laughs> there are champaka trees with fragrant flowers and blue, white, yellow, red, and green parrots. Wait, what? <laughs> parrots. Parrots. So a new color is arising, and this is white. New color. What does it mean, white? Isn't it? Does it mean that? Swamini is successful. She is winning. I read this in Vilap Kusumanjali. White means that Swamini is ruling. Go on. White, yellow, red, and green parrots. That's desire as well. I see yeah. in Europe when you do the white flag means I surrender. I lost. Yeah. White flag. Europe we say what we not. When we surrender, we say the white flag. We surrender to you. We have no more hundred percent surrender. We surrender. No? Yellow. Yes, to yellow. Pickup birds and bees are sweetly resounding there. This kunja, which is covered over by Madhavi wines that are and wine the branches of the Champaka trees, shines like a palace. The door of this kunj that gives erotic joy 
the divine couple is made of flowers that are surrounded by thirsty humming bees that serve as storekeepers, making sure that no intr nobody intruder uh, no intruders will come. <laughs> Their humming is like the ringing of bells during the battle, Cupid's battle, fought by the Yuga Lakishore. Vishaka has placed her disciple friends, uh, friend, Manchu Muki, in charge of this kunj. This modern Sukada Kunj, which is situated on the bank of Sri Radha Kund, the very form of Prema Rasa, always inundates Sri Sri Radha and Krishna in a flood of Vihara Ras. the nectar of their amorous pastimes. Shyam is waiting for Swamini in the kunj, eagerly looking down to the road for Swamini to come. Sometimes he comes outside and looks if he can see her coming over the pathways. His heart is startled with joy when he hears the dry leaves falling from the trees because it makes him think that his beloved is coming. Suddenly, the bank of Radakund becomes illuminated by a golden splendor. Shyam comes out of the kunj. There is no limit to his eagerness. In the distance, he sees a golden effulgent form approaching, which he has never seen before. And he thinks to himself, this is the description of Govinda Lilamrita, 8109. Is this the family deity of Lustra? The goddess of youthful beauty? The opulence of sweetness personified? Maybe a flood of nat natural beauty? Or a river of bliss? Is it the source of a stream of nectar? Or is it my beloved? who is coming here to delight my senses. Passionate Radhika is also amazed to behold the sweet form of Shyam. Is it he for whom she has come here so eagerly? Or is it someone else? She thinks to herself, Is it Cupid? No, because Cupid has no body. Is it a nectar ocean of spiritual flavor? No, 
because an ocean is limitless, is it then an excellent blossoming tree of love from the heaven? No, because a tree does not move. Is it then maybe my beloved, whom I am desiring for so long? Could I be so fortunate? After eager Radha and Krishna meet and embrace each other, Tulasi seats them on a jeweled throne on the courtyard of the Kunj. Understanding their feelings, Tulasi had entered the Kunj and had prepared a bed of jasmine flowers there. Although it is summer, all the other five seasons stand by to serve whenever necessary. Time, the sky, the wind, the sun, and the moon all stand by to serve the lila. There is no dead matter in Braj whatsoever. Everything and everyone serves the lila. For instance, when Shyam Sundara opens the door of his Chandra Shalika, he sees the full moon. Chandra Shalika is the moon tower. He sees the full moon shining like the face of the goddess of fortune. This is reminding him of Radhika. Ramana Bham. Eagerly he plays his flute beneath the Vangsivata tree and dances the rasa with the gopis for the duration of a night of Brahma, millions of years. For the cowherds and the woman of Braj, this was just 12 hours. What a service of time. Tulasi has covered the bed, which she made of the petals of jasmine flowers with a thin sheet so that it will not fall apart while Radha and Krishna make love there. It is a single bed with a single pillow, also made of fresh flower petals. Why a single pillow? That will be understood when the Yugala Kishore lies down there. The picture of that pastime had appeared in the Mandri's mind beforehand. She will take the Yugala Kishore to the bed. Cupid gives joy to the Yugala here. Therefore, this place is called Madan Sukada Kunj. Tulasi takes Shyam and Swamini into the Kunj. And when she comes outside, she calls Swamini Sashimuki, moon faced girl. The moon with spots on his surface is called Sashi. 
why did Tulasi compare Swamini's spotless, moon-like face with the stained globe of the moon? When Tulasi goes to make the bed, Swamini casts a glance at Shyama's face in such a way that Shyam becomes greedy and kisses her eye. This leaves a black stain of eyeliner on Shyam's lip. Seeing this, Swamini smirks, making her cheeks bluesome with it. Greatly attracted to the beauty of that cheek, Nagara kisses it once more and thus leaves a stain of kajal on it. That's why Swamini is addressed as Sashimuki or stained moon face in this verse. As soon as Tulasi stretches out her hand to take Shyam Swamini into the Kunj, she doesn't catch anything anymore. The vision has stopped. So she anxiously prays in topmost bliss, I pick different flowers and carefully make garlands of them that are enjoyed by bees to decorate the gates of the kunj with. With lines of kukuma, I draw a whole gallery of erotic pictures to beautify the gate of the kunj with. When will I make a bed of yasmines on the jeweled bedstead in a wonderfully opulent jeweled temple in the abode that gives joy to Cupid? This is my desire. O oh, moon faced Rati, Ragunada's praise. Will you fulfill this desire of mine? Jai Shirati. There ends this verse and the explanation of Anandas Babaji. <laughs> Gurudev? Yeah. Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Uh, I would ask you something, if you can a little bit more elaborate. This is the yeah. scene when the Radhika is from the distance is looking to Krishna and she is speaking. Is this Cupid? No because Cupid has no body. Can you little bit elaborate this? Why she is saying and something which comes to you, please. Thank you. Cupid. What is meaning of Cupid? Come with. Material come with. He has no body. I 
and uh, when karma is coming material lust is coming before that rati comes is the wife of kripa karma dev not come at all first he sent to rati lust thinking thinking meditating last come not think on anyone only thinking then when the last coming then come dev come because she prepared the road for kama deva to enter but Radhi can't say that he is Kamdev. He is material lust, but he he has no form that Kamdev. He is not that Kamdev. <laughs> this this is the Kamdev. Material Kamdev is for others. Maybe she is for me something else. My my darling. is not the karma deva is not that karma deva is attracted and this rati is not that rati what is the material rati so both are special rati is also Sri Guru Charana Rati. This is the divine, divine Rati to develop my Sarup that Rati to fix my Sarup Avis. And this Kama Deva is not that Kama Deva who remove the Kama, this Kama material lust that Kama Deva. that is the divine krishna divine the love of radha and krishna who out bring out of lusty desires this is if the material lust will press you 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 will feel no effect of that when he will come near that lust will come rati will come and kam deva will come then all subject is that bhogi become anuragi bhogi material material lusty person is more anuragi more devotee why only they switch over life change just in moment is nothing can be effective because this kama deva has not body but this kama deva has body he is smiling dancing is a black naughty is my anything is mine <laughs> because he is mine yeah. thank you guru so beautiful thank you very much radhe radhe very beautiful very nice very deep meditation subject the mandam baba राधे 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 रा
in our consciousness and then we meditate on the breast of Swamini because the breast of Swamini <coughs> is the sitting place of unconditional love. And that means when you meditate on unconditional love, you cannot be any more lusty for the material world. God, the this is a feeling what the Baba gives in another verse. I just wanted to share that with you. Beautiful. So that is the, that is really the the exit. The exit out of the material world is to meditate on the breasts of Radha. This is the exit. Because then we become female. Or when we meditate on the breasts of some material beauty, we become male. Radha. <laughs> what if you disappeared? Only your pillow is visible. No, I'm <laughs> I'm taking the mercy. You see the lights is coming from Radha to me. Yeah, pinkish. Really. Yes. Mystically, mystically, you came back, Gurudev, for us. Uh, yeah, amen. Blue is coming from Mohan, Gurudev. Yes. Blue lights. Blue lights. There's one question here written. I will just read it. Maybe you can explain a little bit, Gurudev. Yes. Could you please explain what means Sukata Kunj? Now done. Sukata Kunch. Sukhda. Sukh means for this happiness. Da means giver to Krishna. Who can give the happiness and pleasure to Krishna? My Rana Swami has to see, I see, I have to see Swami. So <laughs> I don't know what my anything. Yes. I want to see her. This was very good. Don't bother for my face. I'm so nice. <laughs> like this. Uh, they all accept me this way. Sukhda. He gave a pleasure and happiness to hold in verse. But where he wants happiness and pleasure for himself, he is searching for that kunja. And now he got it. But only kunja is there, but the man who's who can give the she is not there. That place is there, but she is not there. Who can give happiness to him. He become mad. He become anxious. He become a little uh, nervous how to how I will see him and I can be close with him. And next chapter, they are meeting, then you will see more better. He will start on me. I don't remember. Have a thing with me. Eat everyone one piece. Keep it in mouth is recommended for this virus.
One piece? One piece. Not close, give to us. So, Gurudev, can we say that Radharani is giving Madan even more joy because she's not showing up immediately? She lets him cook a little bit. This is the priority. Our material work is there. Only what you say. So, what you say, the word? <laughs> Cook a little bit. A little. <laughs> it's <Anna>. like <laughs> that his rati is uh, growing, growing. Anna. Anna. <laughs> Not truth. Show business. Show business. There is no show business. What is happening is reality. What do you say the word for this? In with in what? Now you say the one word. That what do you say? Show business. No, no, not not show business. I mean that she is uh, growing his excitement. Yeah. She is not here. Krishna is growing his excitement and Radha is giving, you see this. Krishna is in excitement. Coming big form, become for all the garments. He is trying to do many things to please her Swami, that Sukhada Kunja can give his happiness. This is the, in the Vilakunsu Manjali Baba say, he is a Rasa Sara. In the reservoir, he is a reservoir. Rasa Sara. When I wear the tanker, creator of rasa, this is the rasa, and he is a rasic seeker. But sar means reservoir is who? Radha is rasa. So he is in that, come to the tanker, but the the giver is not there. <laughs> Sugda Kunj is there, but who will give the Sugda? He is not there. So he was excited. What is happening? I am alone here. Because all the <coughs> Sakis, Gopi, and Manjaris, even the Sakis also, they move with the Radha, not with Krishna. And the Sakas cannot come near to the Kunja, you know. Yes. Mother Jasoda group cannot come to the Kunja. Anyone cannot entry here. So he is with very alone. You can imagine his difficulties. And when Radhika comes, all the groups come with her. He's alone there. And more nervous, although he's a cupid or anything, but he becomes alone here. So when he has to decorate alone the Kunja, yeah, alone the Kunja. <laughs> He is preparing, but <laughs> waiting for giver. 
this is his position here. Right, right. Uh -huh. He's holding the white right flag. He's subdued to uh, the... So it becomes subject and the other becomes object. Yeah, oh, oh. He becomes subject. Other becomes object. Wow. He becomes subject. Now you see here also. He is a subject and his object is Radha Radhi. He is crying and waiting and searching when she is coming. Who is subject and who is object? My Swami, you see, who is always blessing. And light is flowing from both of them. Think blessing. This is a subject. Object of this naughty guy who is standing near to him is all. Yeah. <laughs> See? Smart.